I welcome you to another beautiful edition of Open and Own Outline. My name is John C. Nawani. And our topic for today is Benefits of Supreme Love. Benefits of Supreme Love. And a Bible reading is taken from the book of John chapter 14 from verse 20 to 24. And our memory verse for today is taken from the book of John chapter 14 verse 21. And the Bible says, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. If we love God, if we love Jesus, he manifests himself to us. And not just that, he loves us in return. Now, one of the greatest invitation we have from the Lord Jesus Christ is the call to love him. The call to love him, the call to love God is one of the greatest invitation that we've ever received from Christ. Now, in the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus Christ said, He that loveth the father or his mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth his son or his daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Now, this invitation is not just to love Jesus, but to love him supremely, to love him with the whole of our heart. Like some of us, we claim we love God, but we divide the love that we say we have for him. Now, do you love Jesus above everyone? Or do you love him above everything else? Do you love him above your career? Do you love God, Jesus, above your work? Do you love him above your academic pursuit? The love that Jesus has called us into has to be supreme. There are great benefits for those who love Jesus supremely. There are benefits to those who love him supremely. And some of those benefits are, number one, Jesus says they will be regarded as being worthy of him. Number one benefit is that you will be regarded as being worthy of him. Number two benefit is that they will be qualified to carry his banner everywhere they go. People will see Christ in you. And when people begin to see Christ in you, you are rest assured that the devil can do you no harm. Number three is that they are assured of the backing of the Most High God. The Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? So when you have God behind you, nothing can harm you. The number four is that according to the book of John chapter 14 verse 21, God the Father will make them the target of his love and they will bask in it. God makes you a target of his love when you love him supremely. Then the fifth one, the Lord will manifest himself in them. And number six, according to the book of John 14 verse 23, both God and Jesus Christ will make your heart a permanent residence that dwells in you. Remember, the Bible says that God is love. So if God is love and you have that love inside of you, you know what that means. God is in you. Now, if you experience the reality of this truth, then you will enter into the realm of heaven on earth, where no devil or demons can come close to you. They dare not come near you. You can read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 11 from verse 21 in your own quiet time. Deuteronomy 11 verse 21. Now stay where you are when you can take your love for Christ to the limits and have the Godhead fully living inside of you. Remember, Jesus Christ said we, we have to love God, love him with all our heart with all our mind, 
with all our soul and that includes with everything that we have love is so powerful you cannot love God you can love God to the extent that he will personally come and introduce himself to you but it's my prayer this morning that God Almighty will plant his true love in you in the name of Jesus Christ remember what the Bible says first Corinthians chapter 13 no matter what you do if that love of God is not inside of you it will profit you nothing shall we just bow down our head and pray briefly mighty father lord we thank you for another beautiful opportunity thank you father for how you've inspired our father and the lord pastor e adeboy for this uh topic today and so lord i pray that your love be planted in us in the name of jesus christ that supreme love for you that die hard and full and complete love for you lord we ask that you plant it in us in the name of jesus christ and as we begin to exhibit that love let your presence oh god be and stay with us thank you lord in jesus mighty name i pray god bless you and don't forget this we are expected to love god with the whole of our heart god bless you have a wonderful day don't forget join us again tomorrow for another wonderful beautiful edition of open heaven outline i'm john sinawani and bye for now open heaven.